Hello there, welcome to Target Radio Podcasts. Yes, we have a podcast for your ears. Every week here on the show, on our live shows that is, we try and get an interesting uh, person, persons, uh, artists, band members, music, poets, film playwrights. Uh, We even get, uh, well, we try and get everyone. We try and get everyone that's interested in our genre of music that we portray here on Target Radio. So what we do is sit them down, we have a telephone interview, sometimes a live interview and we discuss all things in their profession so stay tuned here uh this one is an absolute blast you're gonna love this and uh, i'll be back at the end to obviously uh you know tell you what's coming up in the very near future so it is i am the pod father um i will now tell you that this is target radio podcast don't forget to check us out on itunes and if you think we deserve it don't forget to leave us a five star rating that would be rather nice thank you very much indeed so over to uh me cookie and obviously to andy top walker as well and sit in sit tight and enjoy this is target radio dear god in heaven please let this show go okay with no major boobs or goofs or is it goofs Please don't let me dread All over the intros of records Oh, say a naughty word Every Monday night Every Monday night Every Monday night Every Monday night And every Monday night I listen To Sean Cook Oh, Sean Cook We'd like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or for those of you who may have a nervous disposition. Oh, Sean Kirk. And a very good evening. Welcome, 7 o'clock. It's a Monday. It's Pinch Punch first day of the month. It's the 1st of June, 2020. My goodness me, we're halfway through the year. What, June, you know, six months in? See, nothing gets past me. I'm looking forward to this evening. We've got a very special guest coming on around about quarter past seven this evening. None other than Mr. Lee Stevens. Yes, from the Swagger. And we're going to be talking to him about his brand new release. It's called Loaded Gun. Now, if you've not come across this yet, you're in for a treat, because I'm going to get Lee to do his uh, best DJ impersonation and uh, announce this. Probably around about, ooh, 22, quarter to eight. And I urge you, after I go uh, away uh, from your ears at eight o'clock this evening, just quickly jump onto YouTube and check out the brand new video. Very, very powerful. Great song. Looking forward to our chat in about 15 minutes' time. With modern technology the way it is, I'm going to phone him tonight. Yes, on the telephone. Hopefully he'll be there. So looking forward to that with Lee Stevens from Swagger. Uh, taking us up there then, we've got some great music. I always say it because I mean it. We've got some Dr. Bird, Daz Kent. We've even got the jam. And we've even got the truth. Would I lie to you? No. But kickstarting us off, as always... We've got The Who with Baba O'Reilly coming up very shortly. We've got your guest shout-outs. And, of course, we're going to do the birthdays from uh, Sunday and today. We weren't here yesterday. Well, I wasn't anyway. I was sitting in the sun. I tell you what, it's been a blooming good weekend weather-wise. Just a shame I had to work half of it. Never mind. Okay. Shall we do it then? Hopefully, we're going to have him on the phone very, very shortly now. Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. So that's good. That's good. So hopefully now, uh, with all Hello. intents and purposes, we should have Lee Stevens on the phone. Lee, are you there? Yes. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm good. You need one of these, Lee. <laughs> and trust How's me, going, they're good. They're all social distancing themselves. <laughs> 
That's it. Oh, my goodness me. I haven't done a phone call for absolutely ages, Lee. What's going on there? Now, obviously, before we I start, I need to make sure that I've got the right Lee Stevens, OK? Because, trust me, there might, there might be a couple. We, we just There's don't million. know. The, the, well, th- th- don't put yourself down. Now, are you the Lee Stevens <laughs> that, like, uh, that likes to sit and uh, stand by the side of a pole on your profile picture? Is that you? Yeah, that's me in San Diego last Excellent. Year. Lovely. And you live in London? I do in North London, near, near a place called Hornsey. Oh, right. Near, no, um, no, well. Where the Kings grew up. Near around there, and that. Oh, we're going to get to see your musical influences in a minute, and hopefully the kids <laughs> might even uh, they might even be in there. And uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Do you share friends with a few of mine, which is James Walsh, Scott Forsyth, and Gary Davis, just to name a few? Yeah, I know, I know all their names. I recognise them. <laughs> They're all your friends, honestly. Johnny Bradley, uh, Darren J. Connett, Tommy Clark. Uh, yeah, all okay. of them, yeah. Yeah, we got the right one. Okay, that is That's perfect. Cool. Oh, we need one of these again. Okay, hang on. We're just going to get the small. <laughs> we're going to get the small amount in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got the right one. <laughs> How you doing, Lee? Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm a bit, a bit of a rush, man. Nearly bloody missed me train, like you know what I mean, to get oh, over no. for this interview and that. Oh, no. Yeah, man. What do you do, then? What do you um, do um, amongst, obviously, other things? We'll get to the swagger in a second. So what else do you do? Well, I work in, like, corporate security, so I look after a building in Old Street. Um, yeah, it's just, like, corporate security, really. Yeah. So, you know, okay. I'm a concierge, as they say. Oh, right. So you, you know everything about everything. Down. Yeah, you know everything about everything, then, basically. Yeah, just basically looking after a building, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and obviously all their guests as well that come in there. Yeah, 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 I'm like the face of the face of the house, you know what I mean? Oh, we love that terminology here on Target Radio, the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I had to, oh. put that, I had to put that in there. Yeah. Well, why not? Why not indeed? So you're a music artist and songwriter, just to uh, throw a couple of more, uh, well, so, shall we say, more accolades to your uh, to you. And um, how did you get involved in music then? Was it a, a very early age? Kind of weird, man. I left school early and that, and I was getting bullied and stuff at school, and I thought, yeah, I can't be dealing with this. And then uh, kind of got into music pretty late as well, probably oh. like mid twenties. You know what I mean? Oh right, okay. So, so uh, obviously, growing up, obviously you listen to music. I would have uh, well, I assume yeah. then. It's got to be the Who for me, the Beatles. You know what I mean? The Kinks, oh. the Jam. <laughs> the, the, you know oh, I mean? you're ticking all the boxes so far, Lee. Brilliant stuff. So uh, let's go back then. Uh, favorite Who track? Oh, God. I like Pictures of Lily, actually. That's a great track, actually. It's yeah, really like good. Something yeah. about it. It's powerful. Even though it's, it's about powerful. Master, but even though it's about, you know... You know what it's about. Yes, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> say it. Even though, you, it. even though you let it slip out already, we've ignored that one. Favourite <laughs> <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite uh, Kings track, then? Um, Probably, I like Dandy. Actually, I'll oh, do a that cover is, of that. Oh, that is a unique... You do a cover of that as well? Oh, I've got to hear that one. Day. Yeah, you got to yeah. send, that, send that to go me, on. please. Send that. I've got I to would, play that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, fantastic. I love that. It's a jolly decent tune, that one, isn't it? It's just, diff- it's just different, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of them ones. Absolutely, yeah. It, it sort of steers away from Ray Davis's uh, sort of story writing, uh, song, songs, etc. But it's a, it's a great one, actually. I'm not sure who it's about, though. I, I need to do some research on that one. But it's a great track. I'll have to play that one day. Death, Death of a Clown is pretty good as well. Yeah, and that's a Dave, that da- that's well. a Dave Davis one, that is. I know. I yeah. know that one as well. It's, it's the, chord, the chord sequences and Unique, do you know what I mean? Excellent, lovely. We'll get on to that in a second with your music and everything else. And favourite jam track, then? Oh, bloody, there's too many. I know, there's so um, many of them, isn't there? Got to go with uh, English Rose. Ah, oh, OK, a bit of an old romantic heart, then. Yeah, man, one of them ones. <laughs> he didn't do too many of those, <laughs> did he, really? He, he was quite angry at the beginning, and then he mellowed out a little bit during the last part of the uh, the you know the jam's existence. But, um, yeah, great track. I like them. Good picks there as well. So I'm going to try and find uh, at least one of those while we're having our conversation today. OK, so come to music a bit late. Now, um, when you say a bit late, you're sort of like in your early 20s, you say, yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been in the band nine years, so I'm like 37 now. 
So, but you don't look a you know I mean? day over it's that. Young, getting younger by the minute. <laughs> so. That's what music does to you. It either creates, uh, <laughs> it re- creates lots of grey hair or baldness, or both. Uh, we won't well, go I'm there. I'm definitely bald, but I'm not, I'm, for that. I'm not saying a word. I know, I'm looking at your picture right now there. Being Lee. in the band with your brother for nine years, you know what I mean? You're bound to go bald, you know what I mean? Well, it's either that so. or you end up with black eyes all the time. Just ask the Oasis boys. <laughs> well, back in the early days, we were throwing guitars off stage and things, you know what I mean? The 12 bar club, so... Ah, you know, oh, right. That's what happens sometimes when my brother was turning green at one point, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 a Hulk. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. So what's it like working with your brother then, obviously, with the swagger? Um, Just like the Gallagher's, isn't it? You know I mean? <laughs> or, is it love-hate? It is, it is. We're totally two different people. He thinks I'm trying to steal the show, and it's like, he's in the background. Yeah. And that's totally not like that. Do you know what I mean? No, no. But, uh, yeah, it's just one of them ones. But yeah, he's he's like the main, the core. You know, he's like the engine behind the swagger. Do you know what I mean? He's the main man. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I mean, so, do you just share the songwriting abilities with the swagger then, both of you, or is it, it depends, more you? It depends. Yeah, it depends on the song really. Mm. Um, sometimes I write it. Sometimes we write together. Yeah. Um, sometimes he comes up with the melody. I go away and write the lyrics. Come back. When the magic happens, sometimes it doesn't. Of course, yeah. I mean, obviously, it takes time to, um, you know, to, to to really nail it down. I mean, I, I speak to a lot of musicians, and to be honest with you, I, I, I suppose I'm going to categorise this. They're never mm. happy with the final outcome. There's always something that they could There's have done just... Could do yeah, better, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So are you your own worst critique, really, when it comes to your own music writing? Big time, big time. We've never really fully achieved what we want to, you know. Um, even Low Gun, even our new single, like, that... That's an old song, actually. I wrote that maybe probably six, seven years ago. Wow. I'm going to get to that. I'm, it. I'm really going to get you know to that I mean? in a second as well because it's such a good song. Hence why, as soon as I heard it, I was hooked, you know. And obviously, I, I, I know of you guys, but obviously, you know, for some reason, you've always come under the radar. But as soon as that came through to yeah. me, obviously, I get a lot of emails every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, I get about, oh, about 20, 30 emails just from, um, you know, people, you <laughs> know, um, wanting their music played on the radio. It is so, so hard to keep up with everything and obviously full-time job as well. But um, I oh, came no. across that one, and I thought, oh, I'll give it a little look. You know, in Loaded Gun, you know. And it didn't sort of, like, throw itself out at me, and I thought, right, I'm going to watch the video. Mm. Trust me, when you watch the video, I think the video hits you first, and then, obviously, you go back, yeah, listen to crazy. the lyrics, and you really... Deep, yeah, you put you put two and two together, and you really come up with a powerful, powerful track, yo. So, right, just before we go any further into that one, okay, into, your, obviously, your brand-new song, uh, which is obviously... Obviously not mm. brand new now, we just found out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll find out well, more we, about we that. we invented it, so it is kind of new still. It's yeah. still new. Obviously, it's new to us because obviously he's never heard it before. It went on for seven minutes at one point, do you know what I mean? So I had to trim it down. Oh, do you, the you would have to give me that as well. You'll have to, to give the me the unedited. I need the unedited version. <laughs> not there's no naughty words in it. It's about 20 minutes in the rehearsal, is that <laughs> Oh, fantastic. <laughs> now, obviously, um, you play music instruments as well? Oh, yeah, I play electric guitar and acoustic. My brother plays everything apart from the drums. Apart from the drums. My brother literally recorded all the instruments on it apart from the drums. Oh, right. We got a session player in for that one. But, uh, yeah, it was... That's what I'm saying, man. He's the, like, he's the core behind it all, man. Indeed. So yeah, man. you are an original four-piece grit rock band from Hornsey in London, obviously, as we established. The band consisted of two brothers, which is obviously yourself on lead vocals and rhythm guitar, and your brother Paul, who's lead guitar, keys, backing vocals, uh, T, T-boy, uh, sweeper-upper, <laughs> and then you've got Will oh, O'Connell, who is the bass guitarist uh, with you. Uh, what's Will like? Is yeah. he one of these guys that just stands there very, very sort so of... Uh, does he just sort of stand there and do nothing apart from play? Um, you just never know, man. If what he's thinking is one of them quiet ones, that just you know, what I mean, deadly. You know what I mean? Do you know here at Target? Deadly. Here at Target Radio, I've been to quite a few gigs, live gigs and stuff, and I always maintain that bass players are, you know, a part of the engine room. Let's be honest, and you know, fundamentally, you couldn't really operate a good band without one. But they sure. are very, very. Well, miserable. What's that all about? Is bass really a hard thing to play, or are they just, you know, I think they're bred that way. I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weird, though, isn't it? Oh, dear. My apologies. Will, you're probably a very lovely fella. Um, you just don't smile enough. And um, who, who, who else is part of the... Um, now, that's only three guys there. Hang on. You, uh, Will, and... Yeah, the original, Paul. the original members are me, Paul, and Will. Um, we use session drummers at the minute. We are looking for a drummer, actually, to actually join us. There you time. go. So and how do we, how do we get hold of, of you if we if, if there's a drummer listening now thinking hang on I'm in between you know people uh, they didn't like my drumming last time they you might they might fit in <laughs> with the swagger and they live just up the road from you how would they get hold of you? Uh, Facebook. There we go. My uh, Lee Stevens page. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is just brilliant. Check out, just check me out. Just Google me. You know there we go, lovely. So the Swagger's music is a modern rock with a catchy yet gritty aesthetic com... Oh, hang on a minute. Com- combining uh, <laughs> melodic 60s style harmonies. You wrote this, not me. And classic 90s Britpop indie alternative with a slice of punk attitude. Who wrote that? Yeah, because that is... You've got everything there. You've got everything covered, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I mean, man. I, I actually come up with that, yeah. I'll tell you what, that is actually brilliant because you have, you've, you know, you, you talk about your cake and eat it. Well, you've got your cake and got seconds. It's great. Everything's there. So um, let's go with Loaded well, Gun then. In, oh, yeah, you've got to. Now, Loaded Gun was released on the 25th of May of this year and it's been well received around the globe. Wow. And it's tipped to be one of the best singles to date, finally putting the band on the map and gaining new fans and causing a stir. Well, before I even read that, I said something of the lines of, well, a lot of music skips me by, but that one stood out for some reason and obviously once you heard it maybe twice or three times and understood what the uh, song yeah. is about it really grips you and brings you into the story i love it i love the video um so we're gonna yeah, ask no you matter about... how hard you get hit man you just keep coming back you know what i mean you do right. and it's so I true to about... life you know it's factual as well it's not just made up it's a factual so tell us a little bit about loaded gun what's it all about and then we'll go on with the video and find out who the actors and actresses were in the video as well so first of all most what is loaded gun about please well, one day I was a bit, I was a bit peed off, and I wrote it because everyone was shooting me down at the time. Do you know what I mean? So I kind mm. of, it was a bit of an angry song when I first wrote it. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, then, angry uh, songs are good. And I don't know, I was probably in a bad place when I wrote it, but yeah. obviously it turned into a good place. And then uh, we did the video for it about the soldier, um, <clears throat> homeless soldier, who eventually gets his life back on track, suffering from you know scars from the war and all that. So um, yeah, we thought we a story to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And obviously it's about um, obviously coming back from the war and, uh, well, it's sort of a Rambo-ish sort of story there. If anyone's watched Rambo, you know what I'm talking about. It's basically he's just forgotten yeah, about, definitely. isn't he? He's forgotten about and uh, he's fought for his uh, queen yeah. country and uh, literally he's left on the uh, on the heap, really. Turns to, turn to the source, gets, you know what I mean, gets a bit drunk up. Yep, gets absolutely. Gets by the missus. <laughs> You know I mean? Absolutely. And obviously, it has got a nice little twist at the end. And, um, you know, happily ever after, maybe. Who knows? You've got to watch the video. But um, so how did you sort of come up with that concept? You said, obviously, you was in a, a sort of a, a bad place. And obviously, you were feeling a little bit anxious, angry, whatever the case may be. So how, how do you come up with a good song? Food for thought there. <laughs> He's still there. Lee, are you still there? Lee, where are you? I've lost Lee. What's going on? Oh, dear. Right. OK, we've just lost Lee, so we're going to try it again now and see if we can get hold of him. OK, so we're just using... Uh, we'll just see if we can get hold of him right now. OK, bear with me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I don't know what happened there. Hello, Lee. Hello, Sorry. Right. Yeah, good. Well, I think our phone just cut out there somewhere along the line. No idea why. No worries, man. That's it. So the question was I asked you just before... I, I thought he disappeared. I thought the question was already horrible. <laughs> um, as I said, um, obviously you was in a sort of a, a place of darkness, maybe a bit grouchy, grumpy or angry. Yeah, so how, 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 how does that help with your songwriting then? Obviously, it must have worked. Cause it's a bloody good song. <laughs> I oh, know, it's a weird one now, isn't it? You, you know, I don't know. It's weird. I'd probably write a better song if I'm happy. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe I should get sad again. <laughs> I see, yeah. That's, oh, my goodness. Being the lockdown is obviously not helping with the uh, happiness factor at the moment. But obviously, we're, we're, I think oh, no. we're coming but to the I, other I end. I feel like people need a song like this, man. You know, one of them songs in your face, you know what I mean? Um, there's not a lot of songs like that about. 
No, um, indeed, indeed. Not these days, anyway. No, there's not. I mean, it's all about happiness and uh, this, that, and the other. And um, you know, don't get me wrong, they're great songs. But sometimes I think you need uh, one of these sorts of uh, uh, powerful songs, songs with a really sort of like good, you know, sort of hit you in the eyes sort of song. Yeah. You know, uh, powerful Definitely. song with a great meaning behind it to sort of like. You know, balance the songs out, I think. And that is why you're here today. That is literally why Target Radio has found you guys um, and found that song. And I thought, it, you it. need you on. We need you on. I'll tell you me? about it. Yeah, I can hear, again. yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, for goodness sake. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Hello Lee. I can hear you. Hello. <laughs> yes, we're back again. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Modern technology at its best. 4G, and we still haven't got a bloody phone signal. What's that all about, Lee? <laughs> Blame it on the virus. Well, why not? Why not? <laughs> Everything else gets blamed on it. Even, even my uh, pay rise that never happened. I'll blame that on the uh, coronavirus as well. Right. So, um, <laughs> you know, obviously it balances out the music with obviously, uh, you know, deep, dark and powerful songs as well. So how did you start writing this? Hmm. Good question. Oh, I, like to, I like to ask um, good ones here. We're in my bedroom, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, a great, that's a great start. And obviously, using a pen and paper, I would have thought as well. Are you pen staring and pa- into the mirror? You know what I mean, looking angry. Yeah. Are you pen and paper? Yeah, yeah man, definitely. And d- when do you get your sort of uh, best sort of content? Is it late at night, or first thing in the morning, or during the day, or is it doesn't really matter? When no one's around, I kind of, you know, just write then. Yeah. Because I, was, I think I was, I was, I was um, dating some, uh, some bird, like, and. Um, I was like, yeah, like, can you just pop out for a couple of hours? I've got something to do, you know what I mean? And that... <laughs> I just wrote this song, man. It's long... come out of nowhere. How long did it take you to write this, then? <sighs> Must have been about 2012, 2013. Yeah. Like that. And how, how long did and it then... take you, sort of literally sitting down with pen on paper and getting, like, you know, course, lyrics, everything? I don't know, man. It just all came at once, man, do you know what I mean? That's well, fantastic. You know, I really, uh, you know, I tip my hat, if I was wearing one, to people like yourself that can just sort of put pen to paper and actually come up with something as good as this you know regardless of how long it took you or as quick as it took you it, it you can do it it's, 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 it's not many people out there that can actually say i'm a songwriter but you are yeah i am i guess it kind of took me a long while man to get where i am do you know what i mean it takes it takes years man you know, you've got to release your shit songs to get to the good ones, you know what I mean? Well, of course, yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, you know, you've got to go through the rough, through the smooth, uh, you know, and vice yeah. versa, et cetera. But, um, no, I do. I, I find songwriters um, a different breed altogether, which is in a good place, obviously. I don't mean that in a, a sort of a down place at all. Um, you know, songwriting for me is a skill. It's a great skill. Uh, you can put words together, whether they rhyme or not, actually carry, yeah. uh, you know, carry a tune, as they say. And obviously, I can't do either. Mm. I listen to it. My ears tell me that I like it. Um, it gives you endorphins. You know, it makes your body feel good. It gets your mind racing, Definitely. and that is what music is about, ladies and gentlemen. Really. And then, obviously, if you can dance to it, hey, that's the icing on top of the cake with a cherry. How's that? Yeah, dance track coming next. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? The, I mean, the, no prod- the prodigy used to do it, so why not? <laughs> and look where they got them. Well. Look where they got them. Superstardom. So, um, so obviously, <laughs> with the video, then now, obviously. For me personally, and I mean, obviously, everyone's different. Everyone's got a different take on music. Sometimes it's the lyrics and the tune. Sometimes it's the video. Sometimes it's a combination of both. But with the video, then, um, how do you go about getting the video together? And who shoots your videos? And, you know, who's in your video for this loaded gun video? Well, basically, yeah. Well, um, the video director's called Matt Green. He's got his own uh, music uh, video company. Um, this is the second video we've actually done with him now. Okay. Um, so he's really great. Um, I literally wrote the script myself, actually, as well, along with my brother. Yep. Um, we thought we'd done all the locations. I got all the actors in. Um, yeah, so um, we did it all, really. That, um, that, that is absolutely fantastic. It's great to see these uh, bands like yourself uh, self-promoting, uh, doing your videos, uh, you know, obviously sourcing your talents um, and doing pretty much everything from grassroots level. Uh, I love it. The, the video itself, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it so far, is, is gritty, it's grey, and uh, it's really, really, it carries such a powerful, powerful message. And I think it's shot so good, it draws you in straight away. Emotional as well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, 
It is. It is emotional. It does. It, 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 mm. I think it fires all your senses up in, in one go. So there you go. That's not enough already. Get off here. What are you doing listening to me rat, rattling on? You need to go and watch this video. <laughs> no, do it at 8 o'clock this evening. Okay, do that at 8 o'clock this evening once I come off. Um, so literally then, uh, going back to uh, releasing Chin Up Boy on the 18th of uh, October of 2019, that was produced by Oliver McKeeran, basis of the Britpop pan, uh, band Echo Belly. Come on. What's that all about then? Yep. Tell me a bit more about yeah, that. He's worked, he's worked with um, he's worked with James McCartney as well on his album. Okay. McCartney's son. So yeah, he's he's done some big work, man. Yeah, James McCartney um, or Jim McCartney, did you say? <laughs> yeah, something like that. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. And, um, <laughs> and have, 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 have you met Paul as well? I wish. I wish. Man. <laughs> what would you do? One of your idols, you know, the Beatles, obviously. Would you get her down on your knees and say, "We're not worthy." <laughs> I don't know. What do you say to one of your idols? You know what I mean? I don't you know. know. I, I've, met, I've, met, I've met a few and I've just been quite pro, pro professional and polite and going inside thinking, oh, 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 I'm really excited here. I met Paul Weller down Carnaby Street as well years ago. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Like that. How was but, that? Um, yeah, tell us about that. He was quite miserable, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you caught him on a bad I went down the pub. Fuck this. <laughs> but oh, yeah, right. it was kind of. Um, I bought a Union Jack jacket down Carnaby Street and I wrote a song about it. And. Uh, he was in the shop at the time, like, and then I just went next door, got a bit pissed. Oh, know? I see. Language, please, language. Okay, tea time for you. I, I was feeling great that day, I tell you. I was feeling, oh, man. There we go, yeah. Probably, like, the best day of my life. L- lubricated uh, of the alcoholic beverages. There we go. <laughs> Much better than the other P word. Right, okie dokie. So, let's uh, look at the... Uh, you've got the privilege of working with producers Graham Bonner um, and Brian Johnston um, as well, recording your debut EP yeah, he was... at the... Is that the Kank Studios in North London? Now, who's that owned by? Kank Studios are owned by Ray and Dave Davis, all the kinks. Oh, come on. Did you get to meet them? I did, actually. I met Ray. I signed for one of his packages by mistake, and um, got really peed off with me. Uh, yes, I think but, he um, might do, yes. Um, he's a man of letters. <laughs> do you know he's actually a man of letters now? Did you know that? <laughs> no, literally, um, no, no word of, uh, of a joke here. I mean, my wife actually worked, uh, worked. she actually trained and studied as a mature student at a university of, um, where was it now? It was in London anyway. Um, I think it's Middlesex? No, I can't remember. Anyway, um, she went for a graduation, and guess who was also getting graduated on the same day? Ray Davis. He got his, uh, he's a doctor of letters, not a man of letters, he's a doctor of letters. And my wife knew one of my absolute heroes, uh, purposely went along the red carpet, came off the red carpet after she received her like handshake and scroll, and went over to uh, Ray Davis and shook him by the hand, knowing that I would be totally and utterly peed off, which I was. <laughs> <laughs> but what a great speech Ray Davis gave and linked all of his speech to all of his uh, songwriting abilities and named all of his songs within his speech. Fantastic. Oh, my goodness me. So I'm not you... one of my idols. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I again, I tip my hat to anyone that can write story songs like that. Yes, we've heard all the stories before, but, you know, I'll keep going back and listening to them again. I love the Kinks. You know, one of my all-time favourite groups, that and the Who and the Jam, really, the three that you've met, mentioned, are pretty me much too. the three yeah. that I go to pretty much all the time so we've got so much in common now obviously you didn't go and follow those path routes really maybe the who a little bit obviously with your sort of uh punk rock sort of heavy stuff that the swagger do um but um why didn't why didn't you follow the kinks (laughs) i don't know who knows we probably actually the new song i wrote sounds a bit kinksy because uh, yeah, I suppose the Kinks, I suppose the Kinks went a little heavy in places as well, though, didn't they? They could do it, and they did. You know, you really got me. You know, it was a '60s classic, but it was quite heavy as well in places. That was probably their heaviest tune, wasn't it? I, I mean, think so. Yeah, especially when they um, uh, done something to the amplifier, cut them all up or something, didn't they? With razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me, that is fantastic! Now you got all these heavy metal heads, you know what I mean, destroying music, just screaming down the mics. Oh, uh, yeah, but what's that all about? They must go for a mic a month, you know, <laughs> or night, <laughs> or a I mean, night, yeah. You know, I don't think the SM58s, <laughs> that's a short sure microphones, were stand of all this screaming and stuff. Mind you, <laughs> I was Roger Daltrey swinging one around all the time, but, um, yeah, heavily taped. <laughs> and the, Who, the Who's album's great as well. You had it. You had the new album. Yeah, I've got the new Amazing. album. I play that quite often here on Target Radio. So, um, yeah, some really great fine tunes on there. They haven't lost a, they haven't lost a thing, have they, really, to be fair? Nah, Dolce's still got it, man. Still well, got it. 
I actually went to see their Quadrophenia Amora tour at the, uh, I think it was Wembley actually we went to, and I've done a report on it afterwards, uh, just a little bit of journalistic uh, licence I had, and I started it off with, um, you know, great show, blah, 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 about four or five paragraphs in, and I ended up with, uh, not bad for a couple of old pensioners, and that's exactly what they are, but with no disrespect to any pensioner, they are brilliant pensioners because they write brilliant songs come on so do they give you a lot of um do they give you a lot of inspiration when it comes to music writing yourself or who, who would you go to so now i've kind of grew up with like the brit pop thing man oasis and that and there's your color scene and all them bands you know what i mean nothing wrong with them nothing skip wrong with a them bit of blur blur all right but you know skip them for a bit yeah and then, but yeah they're kind of um i don't know probably the gallagher's for me not just their attitude, but just the way they were, you know. Well, let's so. be honest with you. I mean, you love them or hate them, you can't deny that they were absolutely successful at their heyday with the, uh, you know, with obviously Oasis as a band, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're a big influence on me. I'm, just, I'm not going to, you know, lie about it or... No. You know, I wear my heart on my sleeve, man, my influences and that, so... Well, absolutely. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, they are a good band. You know, like I said, love or hate them, you know, Marmite, whatever. Um, you can't deny that. They wrote and performed some really, really good songs, you know. So um, I, I don't blame you for sort of like using them as a sort of a musical influence. As you said right at the beginning of this um, interview, that you came into music late. Was there any reason why yeah, you I mean, came into so it? there's so many, you know what I mean? There's a band you've probably never heard of as well, you know. Like the soundtrack of our lives or some Swedish rock and roll band. Um, that supported Oasis back in 2002. Good. I thought you were going to go with ABBA then. I was going to get worried. Sure. <laughs> I thought you were going to mention ABBA then, obviously being Swedish band and everything. Uh, thank Cut goodness. out again, mate. Oh, sorry. Uh, you there? <laughs> He's not there again. Where is he? <laughs> there he is. He's back. He's laughing now. Okay. So I, yeah, I thought you mentioned... Uh, I thought you were going to mention ABBA then. I was getting worried. <laughs> yeah, check out a Swedish rock and roll band called The, the Soundtrack of Our Lives. They're great, man. They're like cross between the Stones and the Hoof and Oasis. Oh, well, that's what we want to hear. But obviously, we want to hear your song in a minute. Yeah, We're going to get you to uh, announce it. <laughs> Can you still hear me, Lee? No, he can't hear me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end a call, and uh, what I'm going to do is give him another ring back now and see if I can get hold of him. Bear with me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologise by this. Um, we try to be professional here, and uh, we, hopefully we've got him back now. Lee, are you there? Is he there? Hello? Hang on. Hello. Hello, Lee. You there now, mate? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So you just mentioned the Swedish uh, band. Uh, just give them another little plug, please. Yeah, I can just about hear you. Okay. Um, right. So what I'm going to get you to do now, um, just basically quickly, uh, tell us how we can find you, the band, and everything online on the socials, please. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, the Swagger Official, and uh, Twitter, the Swagger Music, Instagram, the same Swagger Music. Uh, that's it. At the moment. That's okay. That's fine. No problems at all. So on Facebook, you've got your own website, which is um, on uh, the Swagger Music. So you can find them there. That's a really good page, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Loads of information. Um, lots of uh, press releases. Of course, you can see the video trailer for Loaded Gun, which we're going to be playing the tune in a minute I love that tune I really do love it it's a brilliant brilliant song and you're going to experience it yourselves ladies and gentlemen in a second ok and um, h- how do we get hold of your merchandise please uh, Lee um, we have a band camp um, we sell our music and uh, t-shirts and things and that on there so uh, band camp um, swagger.com yeah that's it. This, I think it's the swagger.bandcamp.com That's and the then you'll see it all there. Um, basically, Chin Up Boy, uh, Loaded Gun, which we're going to play in a second, Heart and Soul, uh, you've got an EP there as well, the Swagger, and Carnaby's Treat EP. Is that the one where you were, when you were, when you bought your uh, Union Jack jacket, is it? <laughs> That's the one, mate. That's the That's one. <laughs> the, I met Paul when he was talking. Totally, in the early uh, days. In the early days. Oh, that is fantastic. I love these uh, conversations that we have with uh, people like yourself because we find out a little bit about you. Um, you're not just uh, sort of like a face behind, uh, you know, uh, a microphone, etc. Um, but we find out a little bit about you, and uh, it's brilliant to actually have you on board. And it's great to, uh, you know, have a chat with you about all things the swagger and all things Lee Stevens. To be fair, so what I would say now is thank you very much indeed to you, and obviously your brother Paul as well and let's give Will a little mention as well hello Will there you go (laughs) he loves it he loves it yeah he's put his thumbs up I'm sure I'm I'm sure he put a thumb up anyway (laughs) I was that that his finger I'm not sure anyway (laughs) oh my goodness me now have I have I missed anything out on this one today have I missed anything out 
I don't think so, man. I think but we got... are going back in the studio in July. So, um... Oh, yeah. What's happening? Uh, obviously, because of the coronavirus, I don't often talk to you about, um, you know, well, I don't open, talk to yeah. anything about um, lockdown and obviously everything else at the moment. It's a bit of a downer because obviously, new, you know, live music and stuff is not happening yet. Hopefully, it will be soon. Uh, so, you're going into the studio. What are you going to do there? We're recording a new single, actually. Um, I'm not going to reveal too much. What's but, it called? Uh, what's it called? Good, it's exciting. I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. Ah! So. I, I did try, ladies and gentlemen. I did try, but he's a hard, <laughs> he's a hard nut to crack. This one, I can tell you. He's he's been he's, he, you've been conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and let Target Radio know as soon as possible and we'll get that out there played as soon as obviously you give us the green light we, we would not do it before you tell us to but obviously you know now <clears throat> have you had any experience at radio DJing before or any type of sort of DJing before not at all man right all. okay this is the Lee Stevens Crash Course uh, uh, <laughs> what can I say <laughs> DJ Course okay run by Cookie uh, at Target Radio here so all you've got to do is Lee okay you're going to mention you okay you're going to mention a swagger give yourself a little bit of hype there and then say please <laughs> join us now at Target Radio to listen to our brand new song called Loaded Gun and when you get a chance after 8 o'clock this evening uh, have a look on YouTube as well and see the great great video Something on them lines, then. So, uh, in your best radio DJ voice, it's over to you, please. <laughs> right, let's cut that down. Right, go. Come and check out the the new single by the Swagger called Loaded Gun, out 25th of May. Enjoy. <laughs> Lee, that was brilliant, mate. Hang on, they're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Oh, they're all social distancing. Honestly, they're two meters. Or if Boris Johnson has his way, it'll be one metre soon. What's that all about? Oh, Lee, you've been a star this evening. I know we've had a couple of uh, mishaps with the old phone and everything, but we got there in the end. I think we've got this uh, song ready, poised to play. Lee Stevens, thank you very much indeed. The Swagger, Thanks we're looking forward me, to thank, all of your brilliant stuff coming up in the future. But for now, thank you very much indeed for joining us this evening. You've been a star, my friend. Nice one, man. Peace and no love. No worries. Peace and love to you. Take care. There he is, Lee Stevens. Brilliant. And here's a brilliant new song. I've got to talk through this bit. In case you record it on a cassette tape or something. The swagger there with Loaded Gun. And once again, thank you very, very much indeed to uh, Lee Stevens there. We're actually talking now on Messenger. We can't get enough of each other now. Woo! Um, about everything and uh, it is a shame that everything kept cutting out unfortunately you know modern technology with the way it is at the moment uh, would have been better off with a couple of uh, tins and a piece of string anyway I forgot to actually ask him about the Sylvester Stallone part in there did you hear it? Absolutely fantastic. I thought it really, really emphasised the middly bit there on the track. But there we go. We'll play that a few more times this week. Indeed, Loaded Gun, the swagger. All right. You're all right. You're all right. I'm not. I've just had a mouthful of Coke and it went up my nose. Ha <laughs> ha. Lee Stevens, once again, thank you very much indeed for jumping on this evening. I know you're a busy, busy man. And we're back, yes. And what did you think of that for an interview? Wasn't it great? We found out so much. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for joining us for the Target Radio podcast. I am your pod father. That is me, Cookie. Don't forget to rate us on iTunes if you can, please. If you think we deserve it, five stars, please. It does help with the future of Target Radio. Don't forget you can join me every single Monday from 7 through till 8, and then I'm back again on Tuesday, 7 through till 9, and then Fridays as well, live here in the studios between 7 and 8. Check out all of our great shows here on Target Radio, and as I say, please, please, please support local artists and the unsigned band. Until next time, thank you very much indeed, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.